Hello everyone and welcome back to Soul Stained Ink. My name is Beth and it's time for an impromptu in my pajamas book haul. Oh, these things are heavy. Okay. So we went to the thrift store today in order to drop off this huge box of stuff that I had found to donate as I was kind of cleaning and packing. And while we were there, we thought, might as well look around, you know. It's a good place. It's a really nice, big, clean thrift store, and we really enjoy it. So, of course, Elena got a toy, and my dad found some good golf clubs. And I don't know if Mom found anything or not. I think she may have gotten a cookbook or something. And I got books. I know. I know what you're thinking. Beth, you're moving. Well, yeah. And now the books are moving with me. So, let's look at them. First, I've got Elena's. We got her Barbie of Swan Lake and Barbie Fairytopia. These are both junior novelizations, which are like little children's chapter books of the uh, movies. Um, she has seen both of them. She owns Fairytopia. She knows the stories really well, and these are just something for us to read together when we're not watching a Barbie movie because we need more Barbie in our lives. The other book she got was Tangled. This is the Step Into Reading, Ready to Read. Um, so Ready to Read is for preschoolers and kindergartners who have learned their alphabet and are learning to put the letters together and make sounds and you read it with them and help them kind of see the different letters and the sounds that they make and how they make words. So she's really excited. Um, she knows the word Rapunzel because she knows that that is her name and she can kind of pick out the R and get Rapunzel. So that was really fun to discover today. Um, and then we have my books. So the first one was The Girls of Candy Hall by Emily Chase. This is number 15, To Tell the Truth. This one was published in 1985. So this series is from about the 70s and 80s. I started reading them in the mid 90s because we had a very small library in the town we lived at. Um, it was one of those old Carnegie libraries, very, very small kind of one large room and I loved it and they had a very small selection of books that we could choose from but they had a couple of Camby Hall books and I really enjoyed them so when I found them at a thrift store of course I picked a couple up and I've just kind of kept my eye out ever since. It's very rare to find them around here anyway and I was super excited when we got this one for like 50 cents. Actually it's an orange sticker and orange stickers were 50% off so instead of 69 cents we got it for like a dime maybe I don't even know it was a good price next I got Wicked by Gregory Maguire this is the life and times of the Wicked Witch of the West this came out in 1995 I heard about it in the early 2000s at this point I have seen my friends who are in choir do songs from the Broadway musical I've seen bits and pieces of the musical itself I've heard probably most if not all of the entire soundtrack I know the basic premise of the story, but I've been looking out for a couple of years to pick it up and just never really found it when I was thinking about it and walked past it today and went, hey, I want that book. And they have it on sale for less than a dollar. So let's pick that up. So it's going with me. And then the final three books are ones that I'm really excited about. I did a happy dance when I found them. I did a happy dance in line and I did a happy dance when the lady handed me the bag with a minute. And she was looking at me kind of funny because she said she didn't think she was going to see those books get purchased. She was afraid that they were going to have to just toss them out or donate them to somebody else. And that just about broke my heart. So I'm so glad we went in and I saw them and mom and dad picked them up for me. Um, the first one is the Portable Dante. This is the Penguin uh, Viking Portable Library Dante um, edition edited by Mark Musa, who is the editor and translator. This includes the Divine Comedy and La Vida Nueva with a bibliography, notes, and introduction by Mark Musa. Um, I got this because A, I've been meaning to pick up another copy since I stupidly sold back my copy in college after I got done with that class, and B, somebody, and I can't remember who I've been trying to remember all day, and I don't remember who it is, but somebody is planning a read-along of the Divine Comedy in the fall at some point, and I was really excited to hear about that and really looking forward to uh, reading along with that and um, can't remember who it was, but when I saw this for a good price in a really good condition, I wanted it and we got it. I think I got this for a dollar, guys. Look at that. It's in near perfect condition. 
And then the last two books kind of go together, so I'll show them together. I've got the Norton Anthology of English Literature. This is Volume 1 and Volume 2. Now, Volume 1 is the 7th edition. Volume 2 is in the 6th edition. But they are both the English Literature um, Norton Anthology books. So they do go together, Volumes 1 and 2. And I'm super excited. <laughs> Plus, both of them are stamped as being the instructor's desk copies. And I got them both for $2. So they were $2 a piece. The, um, this one is the edition that I used when I was in my English literature courses. And both of my copies were the big, heinously huge um, paperback editions that students get. And they were 50 bucks a pop. And they got destroyed. I mean, they were in a room that got water damage, and so they both got soaked. I had a dog who pulled them off the shelf and, like, just literally ate them, peed on them, whatever. Um, all sorts of horrible things. And I finally had to get rid of them. So finding this in the hardback with the appropriate cover on it made me super nostalgic and incredibly happy. Now, this one still had the little flyers in it, so obviously whoever had this um, didn't do a whole bunch with this edition. There's not any notations that I've seen or anything of that nature. It's still in almost pristine condition. Um, there's just a little bit of wear on the cover, and that, oh, I'm so, so excited. The other one, Volume 2, 6th edition, this has a little more wear, as you can see, the dust jacket has some issues, and the um, the cover has some separation right here. Not too bad. There are notations and highlights throughout the entire thing, and that makes me happy too, because I love seeing the places that this instructor has highlighted and marked, and there are some places that are highlighted, underlined, there's a star next to them, there are little notes next to it, that makes me really excited to go through and reread these pieces that I haven't looked at in over a decade and just see what the teacher wanted to say about them. That's all I have for you guys today. I'm not going to hold them all up again because they're ridiculously heavy, but I will make this happy, happy face for you. All right, so that is all I have. If you know who's doing the Dante read-along, please link it down below, please. Um, other than that, if you've got anything to say, if you've read any of these, if you want to geek out with me over my Norton Anthology um, Instructor Desk Editions, anything, leave me a comment down below. Please don't hesitate to give me a big thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you again soon. Bye!